TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Morning, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials up by uh, 24. You got the Nasdaq up 13. S&Ps are up two. Gold contract is trading down four dollars and 20 cents at 12.18 an ounce. You have silver down six cents, 16 dollars and 28 cents an ounce. Platinum is down seven dollars at seven at 9.85 an ounce. Uh, copper, copper is flat, 2.10 a pound. Light sweet crude down 68 cents at 48 dollars and 81 cents a barrel. Uh, the oil market did get over that uh, 50 dollar uh, mark yesterday. Yesterday. Bonds, the 10 year note flat at 129.17, 129.27, 30 year bonds down, 30, down nine ticks at 164.09. Now, both the notes and the bonds yesterday, folks, went topside once again with volume expanding. Bottom line, these notes, the bonds, they want higher price, lower yield. That being said, we're going to have Janet Yellen getting interviewed today at 115. I suspect nothing is going to happen in the marketplace. Why? Because all the traders, investors are going to be gone uh, by noon. So normally, uh, Yellen could put some volatility in the marketplace. I just don't see it happening out here. King dollar. King dollar is up 298 ticks at 95.46. You have the euro trading at $1.11, and the yen is trading at 109.75. Okay, so we come over and we take a look at the SPY. This is what you have happening with the SPY. Wednesday, you go higher. You start coming into the highs. The high, the high in the SPY is $210.92. That was generated on the 20th of April. Uh, we've got to $209.83 this morning. And bottom line, that is where? That is into the low of the high. So this S&P, the SPY, wants to basically take, at least hit the high. Uh, that being said, every day the volume is contracting. On Tuesday, we had volume of 95 million. Wednesday, 79 million. Thursday, 55, and today uh, we'll see what we come in with, but I suspect it's going to be less than 55. The Qs, the end Qs, what do we have with the Qs? Okay, so the NASDAQ let us up, let us down, all of the above. NASDAQ, the Qs right now, you're at $109.89. The gap that is up there is $110.15. It's going to go after that gap. I suspect it's going to go after that gap. It's going to have light volume. Bottom line, you got window dressing next week. It's going to be, this market is setting up for a nice sell sometime in the middle to the end of next week. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Gold, gold it's going to be a big day in gold today. The reason being, folks, is that we have a three-day weekend. Uh, Fridays are bad enough in the gold market when you've been going down anyway. Uh, we'll see uh, if, in fact, uh, this gold the price is going to hold. My take, my take at this particular point is that, yes, it is going to hold the lows that we're talking about. The, the swing low is uh, 12 uh, 11 on this contract, 12 12 on this contract. This morning, thus far, uh, overnight, you hit the 12 13 area. It rejected it. You know, bottom line, we'll see whether we hang up there. I do expect we're going to hang up there because if we do, go over to the dollar index, what you're going to see in the dollar index is this. Dollar index came down yesterday. We, well, let's go back to Wednesday, actually. So Wednesday, we hit our high. We do 11,000 contracts. You come down yesterday with 18,000. Right now, you're going back up with 7,000, and that's going to line up. Maybe we'll do about 10, 11,000. So what you're going to have there is that you, you, the 11,000 numbers are going into 32 on the way down. We do 18,000 on the way down yesterday. We come back up with uh, 11,000. That is saying that the dollar continues to want lower price. If we go over to the bond market. We take a look at the notes. What you have with the notes is this. Notes right now at 127. Uh, 129.27, they want higher price. Uh, so bottom line, higher price on the notes, higher price on the bonds equals what? Equals lower yields, regardless of what the Federal Reserve says uh, or wants to do. They may want to raise rates, but the market is lowering rates. This 10 a.m. update is brought to you each and every day by EverBank. For more information on the products they offer, you can give them a call at 855-750-4051. That's 855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN. Have a great day. Have a safe day. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. Safe Memorial Day weekend. Come back right here. Talk to you Tuesday, 10 o'clock. Go get them, folks.
Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender.